what is going on people are you ready to dive back into some more the walking dead season six episode three is here today i might do two episodes don't know depending on how hype episode three is i might jump into another episode i'm enjoying this series so much kind of want to just binge watch it but for the sake of time and other reactions that i have to do i cannot binge watch it but it is what it is we're here i can wait i have patience but depending on how it's going man i might just drop three episodes you never know i've done it in the past i'll do it again but anyways the walking dead season six is here we are alexandria is in big trouble because the wolves attacked and now some serious implications are going on because they were trying to to drive away this horde from um from alexandria and things got because the wolves attacked the horn of the truck went off and it diverted the whole plan and half of the horde that they were driving away turned towards alexandria so i don't know what they're going to do to get them back on track but i'm hopefully that they that they do but also we got a situation um with morgan which is like um you guys have let me know that there will be a backstory explaining why he is the way he is now so i'm looking forward to that also um to learn more about that situation because i was saying there has to be some explanation for why he acts like this now because they can't just leave it up in the ear for for us the audience to kind of you know wonder because you know why is doesn't he want to use use a gun anymore i mean when we met he, he was strapped he was strapped the last time we like strapped strapped down you know what i'm saying he was strapped to the t the last time we saw him before before he, not last last time but you know what i'm saying um when we saw him when he was like out of his mind when rick that met up with him or whatever he was out of his mind and he was strapped guns all around right you guys reminded me of a lot of stuff so i'm taking those stuff into consideration because of course you're not going to remember everything that you watched before and you know if you watch a show over and over and over and over again especially if you're watching other people's reactions and stuff you're gonna remember some things that i don't remember this is my first time watching through the walking dead okay it's not easy to recall every detail. Six de six seasons in, it's not easy to recall every single detail. There are certain things that will stick with you, certain things that won't. You know what I'm saying? And some things are going to be harder to remember than some that really, really resonated with you as a person watching the show. So thank you guys so much for all the comments of reminding me of stuff. I really do appreciate it. And you guys have been really engaging in the comment section. So keep it up. I really appreciate it. I like to see 10 or more comments on my videos. You know, sometimes my, my videos don't get 10 or more comments. So, um, at least I would say most of the time it doesn't get 10 or 10 or so comments, you know? So, I really do appreciate you guys taking the time out of going in the comment section and doing that. So make sure you leave a like and continue to do so on these videos. I really do appreciate it. Let's go watch this show and I'll see you guys for the review. Okay, welcome back guys. This is the review for season six, episode three through five of The Walking Dead. And wow, 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 wow. So many emotions I went through, especially for um, episode four, man. Oof, oof. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. One of the best episodes of TV that I've ever watched in my entire life, I have to say. This season has not disappointed me so far. Um... I'm a little worried about weird. Um, we haven't heard from Daryl, Abraham, or Sasha since episode three. So we don't know what happened. We just know that Daryl joined, went back to Abraham and Sasha, but we have no idea. We know there's no way that, that Glenn got out of that situation. He's gone. Glenn is, is dead. He's, he's dead. <laughs> Glenn is dead. You know, we know Nicholas bite the dust. He killed himself. So we know he's not coming back. 
So for me, you know, I talked a lot during episode four because there was a lot to unpack during that episode. And I see where the director was going with the episode. I understand what he was trying to portray. I also understand, um, you know, how hard it is to do that on screen for the actors to portray that is not an easy thing to do. And that's why I send props out to the actors, the two actors that played those scenes so well. You know what I'm saying? The relationship in the small amount of time that they were together, the relationship developed into something so beautiful. And for you to portray that in an hour is not an easy thing to do. And that's why I don't think that it's the it's the same director that has been that maybe directs on a normal basis on the episodes. I think they probably brought someone in to do this. I might go and check the credits for that. Um because usually when it comes on to TV shows, a lot of times, you know what I'm saying, for specific things, like if you're going to have an episode with a lot of special effects and stuff like that, you might bring in a different director to do that episode. And sometimes you'll see that signature style of that particular director to do that specific thing in the TV show. You get what I'm saying? TV show um, anime does this for animators also. Um, I know TV shows do it. They do it. Sometimes you'll see maybe it's even somebody who, who's been on the show for five years that wants to dabble in directing. They might direct a particular episode because maybe now they've become an EP on the project. So you, you, these things do happen. So I loved that episode. If you, you see my reaction, you know I absolutely adored the episode. It was just so well done. Everything from from the music to the to the um the acting to the, the 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 videography everything about it was just perfect it you know what i'm saying perfect 10 out of 10 episode man and the walking dead does this where they'll have for every season there's that episode it's like that episode that they know is coming up that they know they have to do justice to and they like the the acting chops the everything got to be just a hundred percent um 10 out of 10 perfect else we not moving from this <laughs> you know so for me i just enjoyed it that much it was so great to see how morgan came to see how he was i'm glad that they took time out a whole one hour episode you know they probably didn't even show any commercials when that was airing on AMC, that was probably one hour straight episode. And he deserved that much because they know that the fans love Morgan. Just like how I've come to love him, I'm pretty sure that that everybody loves Morgan in this show. Um, and now they've given him karate moves, you know what I'm saying? They give him Haikido. Come on, bro. Like, you know, and... For all the lessons that we learned there, I talked about a lot of it. I don't want to reiterate myself again for here. If you have not watched the reaction, go watch it, you know, and you'll hear all the stuff that I paused to say, you know, and then you can come back here and comment on the things that I've said. You know, I don't want to go over all that stuff because I would be here for 20 minutes doing a review. So. For me, I just enjoyed, I enjoyed episode three just as much as I enjoyed episode four and five, but four was just off the chart on another level. So, you know, of course we knew that Aaron was going to blame himself for the wolves attacking, um, you know, we know that was, was going to happen. Maggie not coming to terms with, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's night and she finally, you know coming to terms with the fact that Glenn might not be coming back and that was good and to find out she was pregnant also also surprised me um I also talked about the relationship between I think her name is Tara and this I don't remember her name the 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 psychologist lady um that you know she has to be taking care of them become becoming a doctor um you know so I for their relationship, they did a very good job of putting them together. I didn't, I didn't mind it one bit because it was, 
it was it, it's okay it it was okay it was done very well in a in a small amount of time mind you but it was done very well i didn't mind it it didn't ca catch me by surprise it was in the back of my head if that if they were building a relationship between tara and her and it's fine it's fine i don't know if tara is as into her as she is into tara right now but hey you know it's better to not be not be alone a lot of the relationships that were being teased were confirmed in episode five we got rick and his boo you know what i'm saying i can't remember her name right now and we got tara and her you know dime piece whatever you want to call it um some people losing what they have and then you have some people gaining something very special um we also have diana becoming a savage you know um so they're waking up they're waking up and that's good we have not seen carol i don't know what's going on why they're not showing carol since we got back to to we haven't seen carol what's going on this this entire time we haven't seen her for three episodes now <laughs> don't play with me don't play with me because i know she ain't hurt and we know she is um she's the savage she's the ninja you know what i'm saying so don't play with me and carol's character i need to see carol every episode if it's not a flashback <laughs> okay you know what i mean so um i'm loving it i'm loving it um you know if i didn't have any of the reactions to do today if i did walk in dead last i probably would have did another episode that's how much i want to binge watch this show i'm probably going to start doing that when i'm reacting to it um you know <clears throat> to react to it last so that you know what I'm saying? So that I have enough time to, you know, just in case I'm going for a long ride, like three or four episodes, um, then I can do that. But um, I don't know how much longer this is going to go on for, guys. I'm, You know what I'm saying? Um, things are looking up. Things are looking up. I'm saying this on all the videos I'm doing today. I'm going to be doing an update, but things are looking up where I'm living, as in, you know, they're trying to reopen a lot of stuff up and it looks like the area where I go to do business um, will be opening back up as early as next weekend. So um, we'll see. That's what they're saying now, but there's no guarantee. But I'm saying that's what they're saying, that things are opening back up in that area. And if things are open back up, I can go back and start doing business again, catch up on some things and whatever. So quarantine might just be over for me as early as next week. So but we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated if you're watching this. I will be doing a video talking about it, but um, just know, just keep that in mind just in case you only watch this, but you don't get the update for the next video. OK, so. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all, man. Make sure y'all leave a like. Make sure y'all comment and also subscribe if you're new. It's your boy Terabyte by Reacts. Hope you guys enjoyed these episodes as much as I did. And I will catch you guys later. Peace.